All right. So the next step is the servo motor ultrasonic sensor pan and tilt. So this is pretty cool the way this works. Basically, you have a servo motor here and your ultrasonic distance sensor mounted there. And the way it works is when you turn it on, it starts going. And then when there's an obstacle, it looks one way, it looks the other way, backs up, turns, and keeps going. So that's a pretty cool feature, and that's what we're going to put together now. So for that, you need your ultrasonic sensor. Take that guy out. Little pair of eyeballs. And you need your servo motor. Take Mr. Servo out. Save the bags in the bag of bags. Going to need this uh, mounting uh, plate here. Actually, there are two mounting plates in here. Go ahead and take the uh, paper off from the one mounting plate there. And then we have this uh, bag of screws for ultrasonic. So that's the uh, bag of screws that we're going to need. Some really tiny nuts in here, so make sure that you don't lose those. They, uh, they did provide us with some, some screwdrivers, um, but I kind of prefer to use my own. I, I have higher quality screwdrivers than these, so that's why I'm not using them. Okay, we also have this bag of servo motor mounting plates. So we have a couple of screws. What's going to happen is we're going to take this uh, most likely this plate here with the long single wings on it. So we're going to take this one, we're going to push it down on here, and then we're going to screw it in with one of these uh, screws that fits properly. So that screw will go on top of it and screw in just like that to hold it in place. Um, but we don't know, you know which way the servo motor is pointing right now, uh, so we're going to and most definitely we're going to just put it on temporarily and then when we power it up then we'll probably have to take it back off and reorient it once we know which way the servo motor is pointing when it's pointing forward. So <clears throat> that's what we're going to do. Um, in the instruction manual they call this the permanent seat. So that's kind of a cute name for it. I would call it the motor mount mounting plate. The motor mounting plate. Okay. And we need, uh, well, let's just pour all these out here and get the little screws too. <clears throat> 